very young, you look at the pro and say, wow, I want to be like that guy. You know, you look the way he rides his bike, look the way he talks, and I just want to be like him. And over the years, it's amazing how things change and you become one of those guys. When I first started cycling, in my house we had a big wall of a bunch of different posters uh, of cyclists. A lot of those advertisements were the precursor to our team and some of my teammates were actually posters on my wall. And now they're just the guys in my phone who I text and call up and, and joke around with. I'm very happy that I reached my goal being a professional cyclist and racing in the biggest races of the world with the best rider of the world. I just love bike racing. I love suffering. I love going through the process of pinning a number on. The bike is on my mind. 24 hours a day. Some people think that we live like monks, which is sometimes true, sometimes not, depending on what you think a monk does. Eat a lot of food. I mean, sometimes it feels like, do I eat for cycling or do I cycle because I like to eat? Sometimes it's 10,000 calories in a day. Generally, you'd see us on the bikes between 9 and 10 a.m. in the morning, and then maybe four or five, we're kind of winding down the on the bike training, the in the gym training, Recovery right after training, right? We do our own stretching, our own foam rolling, massage therapy, good nutrition, eating well, paying attention to your diet. All those things are super important. That's the life of a cyclist. When I started to direct the team of Jamie Satterholm, back in 2008, I brought friends from Argentina. I brought guys that they used to race with me. He's really done a great job of bringing together a family atmosphere in a professional environment. It's a real rich cultural experience on our team as well. We've got this great dynamic of half the guys are Latino, half the guys are gringos as we call ourselves. For the gringos, it's a matter of learning Spanish. For the Latin guys, it's a matter of learning English. So you get some funny things that are lost in translation. Siempre sale un chiste o otra cosa y se ríen todos, nos rimos todos y la verdad que eso es lo mejor que puede pasar en un equipo, ¿no? Que haya compañerismo y, y todos nos podamos reír lo mismo. Hemos sido un equipo muy afortunado porque el equipo ha sido como una gran familia. Aparte de ser compañeros de equipo, hemos sido amigos. It's a great group of people. We are like a family. We raised like that and that's one of the success of the team. The thing about the races that we do is that every town we go to, there's passionate fans in those towns and it's like a traveling circus almost. The thing about cycling fans is that they're very faithful to cycling sponsors. It's a great opportunity for companies to get involved in cycling. Cycling is a big community in the US and it's growing and growing and growing every year. To show your brand in front of 100,000 people. We race all around the country, we race internationally. The announcers are talking about your brand. There's usually one company that they'll latch onto and they say, oh my gosh, you know, I just saw that the other day in the local market and I didn't know what it was, but I bought it anyways because I knew they were supporting you. They know that the sponsors enable all of this to happen, that there wouldn't be races, there wouldn't be teams, the riders wouldn't be traveling around the country if it weren't for the sponsors. And I think the fans feel very grateful for that.